Yo, Nez Nation, good to see you. It's your favorite Professor Nez here with you for another video. And today I'm going to talk about how you can host your show, your live stream broadcast more effectively, more smoothly, and deliver the value necessary to the audience that is there to consume it. I, in the past two years straight, have been, those of you who know me and have subscribed to me and been following my content know I'm an absolute live stream nut job. I absolutely love doing this. I have so much joy and I love interviewing people. I love bringing on guests. I love doing solo live streams. It's just in my blood. It's in my DNA. So... I've been doing this really consistently, over 500 broadcasts. I host two podcasts, two live stream shows on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And I want to bring my experience to the table here, and hopefully you'll get some value from this. So the first thing I want to tell you is when you go live, whether it be on any platform, try to deliver and jump into what the message is, what the theme or purpose of that particular broadcast is immediately. People's attention spans, especially in the 21st century, they're shrinking exponentially. You gotta grab them quick. I've seen too many people go live and so many broadcasters and even people who've run, you know, professional kind of more sophisticated type broadcasts they take forever to get started. And sometimes, you know, you see it's kind of sad in a sense. You see them start. They don't really get into their content or get into whatever their live stream's about for about five to ten minutes. You just sort of see them sitting there, some of them even dumbfounded if they're even live yet or wondering if they're even live yet because usually there's a big delay in the technology. And being really aware of that is crucial to really having an effective broadcast. So get right into it. Get right into to whatever your content is. If you're doing a how-to video, if you're doing a live stream where you're doing a giveaway, if you're doing a live stream where you're doing an interview show, make sure that your audience knows within that first 120 seconds what they're going to get, what you're going to deliver, and why they should stick around. The next thing is make sure that your audience feels like they're being acknowledged. You've got to acknowledge your audience when you're going live. The difference, the main distinction between live video and pre-recorded video, which most YouTubers, most content creators, let's just be honest, execute, you've got an audience there with a live broadcast, okay? And one of the things that is really essential to being a live engaged viewer is feeling like you're a part of the broadcast. That's the main differential. That's why people come to watch you live. There is nothing more jolting. There's nothing more exciting than hearing the broadcaster shout out your name. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the little itty bitty narcissist in all of us or the little dopamine rush. Well, I don't know what it is, but everybody gets that little jolt. Uh, even when I go on people's broadcasts and they mention me and they say, hey, here's Professor Nez, it just feels good. You feel inclusive. You feel like you're being engaged. You feel like you're being acknowledged. You need to do that. Time and time again, I see so many broadcasters they're going into their content, which is important. I want to get into that in just a second, but they're not taking the time to acknowledge. People are giving you their time. People are giving you their eyeballs. Appreciate that. And the best way to show that appreciation, that gratitude is to acknowledge them. Now, this takes a little bit of practice because yes, sometimes it can be overwhelming. You can't get to everybody, especially if you have a lot of people in the chat and they're asking questions at inopportune times, especially if you're doing an interview show. But with practice, you get better at this a really good rule of thumb or something that you can practice early on when you're just starting out or even I think if you're somebody who's an accomplished broadcaster is to really let the audience know that you're going to go into some content, you're going to go into some type of whatever the theme or purpose of your show is and that you'll be giving a kind of what you know I like to call is a roll call and kind of take time out to acknowledge either you can do that as like a, just a specialized roll call like hey I'm just going to see who's in the chat or you can say we're going to take questions later I'm going to get to everybody's question but let me get through my thing first whatever that is you're going to deliver so for example if you're doing a live stream on you know how to become a better social media marketer right three tips on how to become a better social media marketer you go through your content but in the beginning you acknowledge the audience and say hey I'm going to do this I'm going to kind of talk about my three tips, but after that, I'm going to make sure I get to all your questions. So leave your questions in the comments below. I'm acknowledging everybody. I'm letting them feel inclusive, and then you can give them shout outs, make it extra special, make it extra fun. It's not complicated. Don't overthink it. 
and you get better and better and better at this, okay? In the beginning, it's really difficult to monitor, keep the content going, monitor, keep the interview flowing and smooth, but you will get better at this. And lastly, get over the idea of perfection. If there's any medium that really allots for imperfection or allows for, you know, overlooks a lot of the uh, classical things that in pre-recorded video or in pre-edited or edited scripted video uh, uh, allows for those type of mistakes and, and, and follies, it's live video and live streaming. Actually, that can be something of a blessing in disguise. Sometimes those imperfections or so-called blemishes or mistakes or what have you, actually the most appealing things about your live stream because they make you more human. That's the cool thing about live video. There's no faking it. There's no retake. There's no, uh, you know, second take. There's no, well, let, we'll just cut that out later. It's live. It's there. And it's raw. And it's real. And it's authentic. And it's beautiful. And there's nothing wrong with that. So with that comes the expectation of the audience. And there's a different expectation for a live show. The expectation that usually uh, encompasses a live show audience, they understand that it's live and they understand that these, and actually that could be kind of the allure that anything can happen, anything can go wrong. And this is nothing new in the digital kind of ecosphere. It's been happening since there was live period. I'm a writing professor, okay, and I you know, if you really think of what I do, every single day that I go to work, I'm giving a live broadcast, right? I'm getting in front of students, sometimes as many as 100, 150 students in a large lecture hall, and I'm basically giving a live broadcast, right? I mean, I'm delivering some type of value, some type of theme, some type of concept or classroom, uh, you know, resource live, and, you know, things happen. You sneeze or something, you know, you, you trip next to your chair. Here's what I want to tell you lastly. Just roll with that. You got to roll with the punches. You got to roll with that. Keep that mindset. Notice how everything on Professor Nez's channel goes back to mindset. Keep the mindset of understanding. And maybe this will help more than anything. Understand that the audience expects nothing even close to perfection, okay? If, if anything, they're expecting things to go wrong, and it happens all the time, even people who are so-called pros, and I'm not saying I'm one of them, because there's no such thing as perfection. There just isn't, especially in this live video, live streaming space. So roll with that, go with that. Don't allow that to hinder you. Don't allow the thought that what if this isn't going to be what it is. It's never I don't think I've ever done a broadcast, and I've done hundreds, thousands of them. I don't think I've ever done a broadcast that went exactly every single detail according to plan. It's it's just not that. It's a different animal than pre-recorded video and the adoption of editing and allowing for retakes and second takes. It's just a completely different animal. So get that out of your head. As always, Nez Nation, I hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you are interested in videos and content that illustrates who you truly are and how you can share that through communication, through broadcasting, digital storytelling, through speaking. This is the channel for you. You gotta click that subscribe button, hit that round icon right there, click subscribe so you always be notified and we're busting it. Every single week, we're putting out two or three new inspiring videos. Almost every single week, I'm upping my game for 2018. I want to see you here. And by the way, if you have any tips really quickly before we go, leave them in the comments below. Do you have any tips for how to host a live show more effectively? I'd love to hear from you. And I'd also love to hear what you thought of this video. And please tell me, this actual video was in response to a lot of you guys asking and requesting, hey, Professor Ness, can you do a video on how to run a live show? And what are your top tips for effectively running a live show broadcast? I do this for you, Nez Nation. So leave me in the comments below. What would you like to see Professor Nez produce? And I just might do it for you, Nez Nation, as I have time and time again. Good to see you as always. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll see you next time.